Today is the 24th day of Lent. Happy St. Patrick's Day. May the Lord of Peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. Take a moment and quiet yourself. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence and say, Come Holy Spirit. Today's reading is from 1 Samuel, chapter 15. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. For rebellion is like the sin of divination, and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned. I violated the Lord's command and your instructions. I was afraid of the men, and so I gave in to them. Now I beg you, forgive my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. Throughout Scripture, God condemns hypocrisy in our worship. When the outside form of worship doesn't line up with the inward reality of our lives. We sometimes think that means that our inside feelings should match our outward worship. That when we sing to God, we have to have passionate feelings about God. But Samuel says that doesn't solve our problem of hypocrisy. He says that what God delights in isn't having the right feelings about him, but being obedient to him. Doing the thing that he says to do. Consider for a moment a place in your life where you are being obedient to the Lord. Now, consider for a moment a place where you are being disobedient to the Lord. Is there a place where God is asking something of you, but you feel resistant to obey? Maybe out of fear of what it might cost you? As you listen again, ask God for a spirit of courage to trust and obey the Lord in what he's asking of you today. But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices? as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. For rebellion is like the sin of divination, and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as king. Then Saul said to Samuel, I have sinned. I violated the Lord's command and your instructions. I was afraid of the men, and so I gave in to them. Now I beg you, forgive my sin and come back with me so that I may worship the Lord. As you continue through your day, Ask for a soft heart to hear God's voice and to be obedient to one thing that he speaks to you. 
could be a small thing that feels insignificant. Like saying a kind word to someone in a moment of frustration. Whatever the Lord places on your heart, ask for grace to be obedient to him in that moment. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.